Hey there welcome back. Today, we're going to get to know about cardiac arrest, its causes, symptoms, and most importantly, how you can take action if you ever encounter someone experiencing it. So, let's get started. Cardiac arrest is a sudden, life-threatening medical condition in which the heart stops beating abruptly. This means that blood flow to the brain and other vital organs is severely compromised or stopped altogether. Cardiac arrest is different from heart attack. A heart attack is when blood flow to the heart is blocked. Sudden cardiac arrest is when the heart malfunctions and suddenly stops beating. A heart attack is a circulation problem and sudden cardiac arrest is an electrical problem. The most common cause of sudden cardiac arrest is an irregular heart rhythm called ventricular fibrillation. Rapid, erratic heart signals cause the lower heart chambers to quiver uselessly instead of pumping blood. Certain heart conditions can make you more likely to have this type of heartbeat problem. Sudden cardiac arrest may occur if the heart arteries become clogged with cholesterol and other deposits, reducing blood flow to the heart. If a heart attack occurs, often as a result of severe coronary artery disease, it can trigger ventricular fibrillation and sudden cardiac arrest. Enlarged heart called cardiomyopathy. This condition usually happens when the walls in the heart muscle stretch. The heart muscle gets bigger or thicker. Leaking or narrowing of the heart valves can lead to stretching or thickening of the heart muscle. When the chambers become enlarged or weakened because of stress caused by a tight or leaking valve, there's an increased risk of developing a heart rhythm problem. People using illegal drugs such as cocaine or amphetamines, patients with low potassium or magnesium levels, a sleep disorder called obstructive sleep apnea, and chronic kidney disease are also risk factors for cardiac arrest. Recognizing the symptoms of cardiac arrest is crucial for taking immediate action. The person may suddenly collapse, lose consciousness, and stop breathing during a sudden cardiac arrest. Sometimes other symptoms occur before sudden cardiac arrest. These might include chest discomfort, shortness of breath, weakness and fast beating, fluttering or pounding heart called palpitations. But sudden cardiac arrest often occurs with no warning signs. So, what should you do if you suspect someone is experiencing cardiac arrest? It's important to act quickly. Here are the steps to follow. You can call the local emergency number immediately. Start CPR or cardiopulmonary resuscitation if you're trained. If not, ask if there's anyone nearby who can help. Use an automated external defibrillator if one is available. These devices can deliver an electric shock to help restore a normal heart rhythm. Continue CPR until professional help arrives or the person starts breathing again. Cardiac arrest is a sudden and life-threatening condition where the heart stops beating. Recognizing the symptoms and taking immediate action can make all the difference in saving a life. See you in the next video.